All right, man, so we back at again with another crazy video. Now, before we get into the video, y'all know what y'all gotta do. Go down below in the comment section, all right? And I ain't gonna lie, I ain't got a crazy poll question today, but I'd like to ask y'all this just to keep up to date with y'all, you feel me? How are y'all doing mentally? Let me know in the comment section below how y'all doing mentally, you know what I'm saying? Physically, emotionally, spiritually, how y'all doing? Y'all doing good, decent, terrible, amazing? Like, just let me know in the comment section below. Me, personally, I'm doing pretty good, you feel me? I can't complain. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG. I also got my podcast channel link description box below. Y'all don't want to miss it. It is fire, okay? I'm dropping my first episode in October, but go ahead down below, subscribe to the channel, and follow your boy on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, etc., etc., etc. Without further ado, let's get it, let's go. Can you tell me how many lives maybe are killed due to firearms? Three million a year. God damn. Three million people die a year? Wow. That's how many people die every year? Yeah. Three million. Yeah. What is it about guns that you think is legal to have on this state? Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's how many people die every year? Yeah. Three million. Yeah. What is it about guns that you think is legal to have on this state? Hi, sir. How are you? I'm great. I know you were begging for my fiance's attention here with your sign. Oh, tell no, me great. about it. Tell me about it. No, I'm great. You want to tell my fiance about it? Why don't you tell the camera about it? Oh, no, I'm doing pretty good, actually. I'm actually just like, bro, we didn't ask how you doing. Tell us about the goddamn sign for the last time. Oh, I'm pretty great. Oh, so tell us. About I'm pretty great. Like, bro, we, I mean, like, we don't care, to be honest. We just want to know the, about the sign. All right. Jeez. Like trying to like just talk to people about the fact that gun laws do save lives. Um, like actually, the guy in Maryland, right? The red flag gun law? Actually, we don't like using the term red flag gun laws. We prefer the term extreme risk protection orders. Okay. That didn't save his life. See, I'm actually here on behalf of the people, um, the Latinx community, especially in El Paso. Um, but here's the thing. So I know who you are. I'm cool with it. I know we disagree on this, some certain well, issues. Even like if you weren't cool with it, I guess I don't care. Oh, no, no, it's totally cool. I mean, I know we disagree fundamentally on issues, but like, I don't really want to start anything. So. Why not? You want to convince me you don't want to change my mind? Not your mind. Why don't I, I don't understand people. First of all, I wish everybody in the background could shut up. I see the F, the F Trump sign. Y'all idiots, okay? Y'all idiots. Y'all the people that voted for Biden. Now, y'all, this is why we in a predicament we in now. But that's what the point. That's a whole other topic for another day. I under, like I don't understand why people come to protests if you don't want to start nothing. Why start some? Why go to a protest that you you don't want to start anything? Protests are controversial either way it go. You feel me? Like I mean, like literally, you go into a protest to protest about something that you disagree with. You feel me? And literally, I mean, you say that you don't want to start nothing. Then why go to a protest? Seriously, you might as well just stay home. Why don't you want to try to change my mind? Um, it's just not worth it. Thank you. It's just not worth it. Thank you. Not worth it? Why? I am one of the biggest advocates for gun rights in the country and you don't want to change my mind? You don't want to change my mind? I'm good. How old are you? I am 19. That's sad. I'm one of the biggest advocates for gun rights in this country. I'm oh, know known as the gun girl. So why wouldn't That's you want to try to change my yeah, mind? That's, That's very interesting considering somebody that got shot. Well, I'm sorry. I got shot. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, why are you so good about guns? Like, what is it about guns that you think is legal to have on this state? What is it about guns that you think is legal to have on this state? What is it about guns that you think is legal to have on this state? Well, the Second Amendment and my God-given right to defend myself says that I have that right. So yeah. what about so what about the kids that got killed last year because somebody had a gun and they got shot? Wasn't supposed to have it. Illegally was sold to them. And I gotta understand that you can defend yourself. But what you about illegally was sold to them? Oh man! You're really defend? You're really yeah, defending? Yeah, I am. And I am a victim of getting okay. shot as well. Are you gonna let me talk? Go ahead. So you just absolutely dismantled the gun law argument that we need gun laws. You just sat there and said that he got it illegally. He wasn't supposed to have it. So what's no, your argument? Not, no, I didn't say all of that. You wouldn't even let me talk. So when you're done talking, let me know that oh. I can talk and then we can go ahead and squash So this. every year, up to three million lives are saved due to defensive use of firearms. That is found by the CDC. Obama actually ordered the CDC to do an investigation and they found that three million lives are saved every year due to defensive use of firearms. Can you tell me how many lives maybe are killed 
sold due to firearms. Three million a year. So three million are saved. Three million people die. Oh man, this is a beautiful math class for me. I love. I'm 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 not the best at math, but God dang, that doesn't even make logic. I don't even think a two year old would say something like that. Three million lives are saved due to gun laws, and then you say three million lives are like taken away. Three million people die, but three three million people get saved. Okay. That's how many people die every year? Yeah. Three million. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give you one more chance because think about like how many people are in the country and then three million every year are dying. I'm being sarcastic, sweetheart. Okay. I'm being sarcastic if you didn't realize it, but okay. okay. Next question. Well, uh, that was the question. Do you have an no, answer? I, next qu I, I gave you an answer. I asked you, did you have another question? Do you have a real answer? Like I just gave you a real answer. Okay, so you just. Bro, I'm, I'm literally, I'm losing brain cells. You just said that you was being sarcastic. Now you're saying that you gave her a real answer. Which one is it, sweetheart? Which one is it? Which one are you doing? Are you giving her the real answer? Or are you being sarcastic? I can't stand people who say I'm being sarcastic because they don't know the real answer. They don't know. They don't know. That's why they say I'm being sarcastic. I'm being sarcastic. If you don't know, then you don't know. But my whole thing is, if you want to say something and you want to protest against something, please bring your facts. Bring your facts. Bring the evidence. People need evidence. I need evidence. You saying three billion people died? Yeah, please show me some some evidence. Show me some um freaking graphs or something. Show me something that says three million people are losing their lives a year due to guns. Like, please show me this. I am begging you to show me this. <sighs> So it wasn't sarcasm. You, You're going you back and forth. I saw you how you disrespected one of my colleagues, and I'm just like, are you serious right now? Like, do you know? No, how you got mad about firearms. Do you know how many people die every year due to firearms? When is illegally used? No, firearm homicides, deaths. How many are used? Are we done here? Do you have an Do you have an answer? I don't have nothing to say because I just told you that I see too many kids getting shot, and you can't even ask, like, tell me how you feel about that. I think forget it's terrible. The, I, I think, no kids should be shot. I've never said that. I've never advocated. For that but that's, that's a question that I asked you and you completely ignored it. I did ask you that. I said, what about the kids that get killed every year due to gun violence? And that's you not said gun that, violence. That is gun violence. It's violence. About? So when someone gets stabbed, it was a, it do you was call a gun it knife used, violence? It was a gun that was used to kill another right. kid who couldn't even graduate, let alone get married, let alone see his mom. And that's a terrible situation. Okay, so that I Literally, the, the, the problem with today's, the, the problem with this just generation in total or I, i'm like literally, bro, i lost too many brain cells uh, listen to her talk the problem with the with people nowadays is the fact that they let their emotions get the best of them they let their emotion they let allow their emotions to be over the facts you feel me you can't allow emotion over facts you gotta allow facts over emotion i understand it, it, to you it may be emotionally to, emotionally emotional topic to talk about but you're there to talk about stuff like this so if you know it's going to be emotional for you to talk about why come and protest it, you feel me? And not bring your facts. You you getting all emotional when all Kaylin doing is telling you the facts. She's telling you the facts. And you just talk, 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 talk. You're not trying to open up to the facts. Some of y'all need to allow y'all hearts to not be hardened and open up to the truth. Okay, once you open up to the truth, I promise you, you're going to gain so much common sense. So much common sense. But when you allow your heart to be closed to the truth and you don't want to accept nothing that nobody else say because you feel like your opinion is better than the facts, then that's when it becomes a problem. You allow your opinion to be better than facts. It's okay to have your opinion, but when it don't line up with the facts, your opinion really don't matter at that point, does it? I'm just being honest. If I give you my opinion... But you give me straight facts. You showing me grad. You showing me everything that I need to know and everything I need to see. And I'm still allowing my opinion to be over those facts. I just became a fool because I can't accept the person that the person that got a little bit of wisdom that's trying to show me this. So I can't accept the wisdom that they're giving to me because I'm allowing my emotions and my opinion to get the best of me. I'm just saying this is that's the problem with people. That's that's really the problem. She's allowing her emotions to get the best. I would never gun advocate violence. for having violence. How is it not gun violence? So when someone stabs someone else, is it knife violence? It doesn't matter what type of whatever kind of violence it is. Whatever that is done, so it's, it's done. just violence. 
it's very disingenuous to your argument to call it gun violence when it's just violence. If you don't call people hanging themselves with rope from suicide violence. rope violence or stabbings knife violence or car accidents car violence, it's disingenuous and you're insulting my intelligence to think that you I won't know the difference. First, sweetheart. You so the you never answered my first. question. And you never answered mine. How many people died? you answer mine, then I'm going to answer yours. That's I already how gonna... You just... Bro, they can't accept the truth, dog. They can't accept the truth. They can't accept the facts. They can't accept facts, bro. Literally, Kaylin is going stupid right now. I mean, she's going ballistic. She just, uh, 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 uh. She, man, it's like, bro, imagine if MJ and Kobe was on the same team. Huh, huh, bow. Like, bro, oh. literally, this is like a, <laughs> like, and she's by herself doing this. This is, this is ridiculous, bro. This is crazy. She can't assess how many, if you don't, uh, since you're not going to answer my question, I'm not going to answer your question. Like, bro, Kaylin is going crazy, man. I promise you. But this girl right here, she's, her heart is too hard to open up to hear the truth, man. She don't want to hear the facts. She don't want to hear the facts, man. No, you did it. And we're done here. Have a good day. You don't have an answer. Okay, so I'll go ahead and answer it. About 13,000 people are killed due to gun homicides, and that includes self-defense, justified shootings, stuff like that. So she's over there saying that I'm insulting her intelligence, but she couldn't answer my question. I just want to maybe change her mind. Do I care about change her mind? Really? No. Um, but I do like to give my audience here, you guys, a little knowledge about what to say or what to do when you come out here and try to face these people that run on emotion so you know the the right to self-defense is my right it's your right it's her right it's her right it's his rights everybody's right here emotions don't dictate that emotions don't dictate my right to defend my life and they never will and i will never fall for the emotional argument because it's disingenuous and what a shame to the kids who lost their lives for her to go out there and use their deaths and walk on their graves to try to push an agenda that she knows nothing about if you guys like this and this is why people don't like Kaylin because she's she speaks too much truth I mean everything she just said at the end of the video was straight facts straight facts like when I go out in public I don't go to protest I don't go to protest look I, I just don't got time for the I don't got time for the emotional chaos I, look, I don't have the patience for those people okay I don't not saying I'm gonna go off and hurt them and do this and do that no I just don't have the patience to be losing brain cells when talking to these people I barely got the patience to even go out and just speak about this type of stuff to like People I normally talk to on a regular day basis, like family, uh, friends, you feel me? Or just not friends, but associates. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't got the patience for that, but I do it because I want them to hear the truth. I want them to hear the truth. All these people are protest, man. They just so much built on emotion. Like, the people I talk to every single day or the, my associates that I talk to every single day, it's like... They're not truly built like the people I do talk to. They're not built on emotion. They don't hear about. They don't care for the emotion. Like they actually be going at it. You feel me? Be arguing back and forth. But that's not the point. Kaylin, she just speaks the truth. Okay, she speaks the truth. Is everybody a right to self defend herself? Simple as that. Simple as that. Regardless of the emotional build up that people have in them, that doesn't mean nothing. Okay, y'all can't keep living off emotion. Live off facts. Stop living off the emotion. It's simple. The emotion emotions ain't gonna get you nowhere. It's not. But when you're hearing the facts and when you're hearing the truth, that's going to get you somewhere in life. But hearing, but living off your emotion, no. No. Put your emotion to the back and put the facts to the front. <laughs> you feel me? Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.